Good morning to all. I am Dr. Jess, Department for Medicine and Radiology, and Daniel College and Hospital, New Orleans. Today's session is on scintigraphy. Nuclear medicine or scintigraphy or radionuclear imaging is the only means of assessing physiologic change that is a direct result of biochemical alteration. It is otherwise known as functional imaging. The term is derived from the decay of radionuclide and its result in gamma radiation or scintillation. Diagnostic tool that utilizes a radioactive substance to help diagnose a disease process from inside the body is nuclear medicine. They can be plain radiographs, CT, MRI, structural and morphological alterations can all be studied. Radionuclide imaging is an early physiologic change as metabolic alteration identifier. It allows the function of target tissue to be examined under both the static and dynamic conditions. Nuclear medicine physiologic and metabolic changes often precede good gross structural alteration of disease tissue by our stims or even peaks. Key factor in determining early diagnosis and proper treatment protocol and in establishing an accurate prognosis. Advantages include target tissue function is investigated. All similar target tissue can be examined during one investigation. Computer analysis and enhancement of results are available. This is the same graphic picture. What are the disadvantages? Poor image resolution, high radiation dose, images are not disease specific, difficult to localize exact anatomical site of source of emission. Facilities are not widely available. Nuclear imaging versus conventional radiology. The patient is the source of radiation. The detection is of instrument is different. The sensitivity of nuclear medicine are very great. The specificity are very there are certain radiation stops, that is technician, per technique, that is targeting to the salivary glands, thyroid, blood, liver, lung and heart. Technician method, diphosphonate, targeting room, gallium, tumors and inflammation, iron-131 thyroid, kryptonite. In nuclear imaging, radionuclide is delivered to the patient, emission of photon is from within the patient, location of radionuclide within the structure, this information emitted from the structure is captured by a detector. Scintillation detector is used. Detector collects the emission, that is the image. Gamma radiation is the radiation source and detected by scintillation crystal. Fluorescence is detected by the photomultiplier tube that magnifies and amplifies the signal. Amplified signal is digitized and the production of image is by means of computer algorithm. Gamma camera is the most commonly used equipment developed by Hal Anker in 1957. Consists of a lead collimator and a means of detecting emission. Detector is made up of a scintillation crystal coupled to a photomultiplier tube. Scintillation substance is used as thallium activated sodium iodide. Bone scan. In contrast to a radiograph, bone scan gives no information on morphology of the lesion, either internally or in the areas of bone adjacent to the lesion. The scan does demonstrate, however, areas of altered bone metabolism within and around the lesion, thus allowing a reasonably accurate assessment of the growth of the lesion and extent of its bones. Bone scan also allows to view the entire skeleton with no additional radiation burden to the patient. Positive findings usually lead to conventional radiographs of the suspicious areas, allowing morphologic study of regions with altered metabolism. Regions used, technetium bone scan, gallium bone scan. If a technetium bone scan is being contemplated, it should be performed first. Gallium scan is mainly used in cases of osteomyelitis. It's adjunct with technetium scan. Mechanism involved, the patient is injected with a small amount of radioactive material attached to methylene diphosphonated bone. Scanning with gamma camera occurs. More active, the bone turnover, the more material will be seen in the scan. This is the gantry over which patient is being uh, laid and the spect uh, bone scan is being undergoing by the patient. Bone scan shows multiple bone metastasis from the prostate cancer which can be seen over the limbs as well as in the limbs. Coming to positron emission tomorrow, 
techniques and implements imaging technique which provides high resolution tomographic images of the biodistribution of radiopharmaceutical or radio tracer in the body. A PET scan measures important body functions such as blood flow, oxygen use, sugar metabolism to help doctors evaluate how well organs and tissues are functioning. A radioactive isotope that decays by positron emission is introduced in the body. Many different isotopes are there, such as fluorine 18, oxygen 15, carbon 11. 18 fluorine is the most commonly used isotope. It replaces hydroxy group in all forms of energy. Within the cell, FDG is phosphorylated by an enzyme exokinase to 2 deoxy glucose 6-phosphate. Increased proliferation of tumor cells manifest as Increased uptake of FDG in cancer cell compared to the surrounding normal tissue. Positron emitting radioisotopes are prepared by bombarding stable atomic nuclei by proton. Proton are speeded up in particle accelerator called cyclotron, which then impinge upon the stable nuclei and knock out on neutrons in the, nu and in the nucleus. And this is the work. Advantage of nuclear, non invasive, low risk infection compared to surgery, identified disease after therapy completion, and good outcome for chemotherapy. This advantage is improved, radiation risk is there, although minimal, but equivalent to two chest radiograms. Not indicated in pregnancy and lactation, short T hub, limited time for complete scan and patient, expensive, non available drug cycle. Uses detect nodal neck disease in OCC. Response of tumor to treatment, detect distant and non metastasis, occult micrometastasis, acceptable sensitivity and specificity, can give false positive results, and new granulation inflammation tissues can be identified and recently irradiated neck and go for this. Expect or single photon emission compared to tomography. Emissions of single photon from BK process. Dynamic imaging modality where a series of images are obtained. Images obtained in three planes obtained from different angles reconstruct the light. Radio isotope is delivered to the patient attaches to specific ligand in the body form. Radio ligand which has chemical binding properties to certain types of tissue. This radiology and this ligand is carried and bound to place of interest. There is gamma emission of radiology ligand which detected by gamma camera and production of image. Not as expensive as that. Standard body pharmaceuticals are used, eliminating the need for a cyclotron to require less space and Fusion imaging is a combination of two different modalities to produce fine images CT and SPET, CT and PET, PET and MRI. It gives structure and functional images. Eliminate the mismatching of images. Imaging times are reduced at rate of utilization. Application of radio nuclear image lymphocytography, salivary syndrography. Oral and maxillofacial inflammation, tumors, trauma, bone healing, and change. Salivary gland studies used for functional evaluation and evaluating mass lesion. Technician 99 units chloride infects into the SNR cells. It involves administration of radioactive tracer with affinity for tissue of interest. Recorded with scintillation camera. Studies rarely diagnostic, but is usual adjunct. Mass lesions in a gland present as areas of decreased uptake can be used in patients with Jogren syndrome. But they have poor response to simulation. This is the difference between salivary gland scintigraphy and cyrography. In inflammatory disease, bone scintigraphy can be used to disclose periopical lesions. Used to detect inflammatory responses of TNT, spect is used to detect arthritic changes post tumor Bone graft viability means of predicting graft failure before clinical or radiographic changes are apparent. Positive scan is correlated with viable bone graft. Negative bone scan corresponds to non viable bone graft. Periodontal disease. In various studies, it has been reported that the uptake of radionuclide technician 99 was elevated in angular bone with chronic restrictive periodontal disease. It's more sensitive method to detect bone graft. Tumors. Bone scanning at 3 and 24 hours following radiopharmaceutical administration has been shown to enhance. Differentiation of benign from malignant tumors. Uptake increase in malignant tissues. Uptake in degenerative lesion decreases. FPG PET has got a good predictive value. Trauma. Initial detection of subtle bone fractures not apparent on standard radiographs can be identified. Evidence of 
stress fractures are really quite severe late in the cooling process that is up to 2 to 12 weeks after nuclear reaction. An interesting case report described a stress fracture detected by nuclear leaching in an ice cream scooper's hand. Temporomandibular joint evaluation of bone edge balls in a bony component of TNG for assessing of skeletal facial growth, presence of active hyperplastic activity in these joints, effectiveness of spect for quantitative skeletal cylinder with mandibular contact, usefulness of technetium 19 and take in correlation of mandibular growth in chronological growth. For radiation dose, CT scan 7.6 sievert, bone scan 4 sievert, with BG patch 5.9 sievert, that is conclusion. Nuclear medicine procedures are cost effective. Unlike other tests or procedures, nuclear medicine provides information about the function of virtually every major organ system within the world. Nuclear medicine procedures are painless and do not require anesthesia. Nuclear medicine is an integral part of patient care and contributes to the well-being of the patient worldwide.